Hello everyone, today we're working on a 2006 Lincoln Town Car. We're doing a transmission filter change. After we put the new filter up, we're going to be doing a transmission flush. The fluid we'll be using today is the AMSOIL Synthetic Universal Automatic Transmission Fluid. This fluid will run 20 to 50 degrees cooler than petroleum-based oils, resists oxidation and thermal runaway like no other, and it has a much longer service life. These features and benefits add up to giving you much longer transmission life. So we're going to go through the procedure of uh, doing this transmission flush, and uh, we'll be back with you. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice on this transmission pan is there is no drain plug. Okay, what that equals is a mess when you start taking the lines off. So the way we can get around that, what we're going to do is up here under the engine, I'm going to show you a couple of lines. There's two lines right up here by my fingers. Okay, and the one that's closest would be this one right here. It's closest to the driver's side. The fluid is coming back to the transmission from the cooler going back towards the transmission. So we're going to take off this clamp right here and then we're going to bring this hose down. I'm going to start the vehicle and we're going to run until it starts spurting a few air bubbles. That'll mean that we have sucked most of the transmission fluid out of that pan and we can take it down without making a big mess. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started taking that line off and uh, then we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, I've got a uh, <clears throat> small channel lock. You can also use the needle nose pliers. It's just a spring clamp on those, on that hose. So we're going to just take that, slide it back, slide it to uh, back on the hose a little ways. Once we have it off of the uh, off the pipe there a ways, and then we can work it with our hands. Just pull it off. There it is. Okay, now I've got a drain pan down here, and uh, go ahead and start it. Shut it off. Okay, the flow starting to slow down. That means that we're sucking down to the bottom of that pan. Okay, that'll suck most. That'll get most of that transmission fluid out of that pan for us. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is pull that transmission pan down. So we'll be back with you. Okay, the socket that you're going to need for these bolts are 10 millimeter, and we're going to take them out kind of around the front and around the passenger side. The back ones will probably be the last ones we take out because I want it to come down. If there's any fluid, it's going to come out. I want it to come out the front and into my drain pan. Okay, we've got the pan down. Next thing we're going to do is pull this filter down, just like that. Then we're going to clean up the tranny pan and the magnet and get everything ready to go back up again. So we'll do that and get back with you. Okay, we got this pan off and you can see by uh, taking off that cooler line and running the fluid out of the pan, it saves a big mess in dropping this pan. Otherwise you're going to have fluid running out all over the place when you take these bolts out. So that gets rid of most of that mess just by preliminary, you know, doing that uh, uh, startup to, to, uh, to flow the transmission fluid out of the pan into the pan, drain pan. So we're going to dump this out. And then uh, this gasket is a reusable gasket. It's a silicone. It's got dowels right there so you can't squish it or over squish it. And the biggest thing is once we get this cleaned up, you want to look for any rust or any delamination of that silicone because it's got a kind of a steel sandwich in between. If it's in good shape and everything looks good, there's no nicks or no rust on it, there's no reason you can't reuse it. And then the magnet itself, it's going to have fuzz on it. You can kind of see that fuzz, kind of a gray metal fuzz. It's just normal wear and tear on the transmission. We're going to pull that magnet. That magnet, you can grab a hold of that, take it out, and wipe it off. And get all that fuzz off, clean the pan, clean the outside, the inside. We're going to do all that and we'll get ready to put it back up with a new filter. 
So I just wanted to show you that, and uh, that's why, you know, when, when I uh, pull that line off and start the vehicle up, that's the reason is to get that level down in the pan so that we can take it off without making a big mess. So we're going to go ahead and clean this up, and we'll be back with you. Okay, I've got uh, a rag here, and I'm wiping off as much of that old uh, metal as I can off that magnet. And I'm using uh, ether or starting fluid. You can use brake clean solvent if you want to use that. And uh, spray it off good. And then just use compressed air. And you get that magnet spick and span just like a new one again. So that's all cleaned up and ready to go back together. Okay, I've wiped this down with the rag. I'm going to again use uh, some starting fluid or ether or you can use brake clean. But there's going to be dirt around the outside. We want to get as much of that dirt off as we can. And make sure you have no flames around. If you're going to use ether, you're going to have sparks or flames. It'll make you a, a fireball. So, but uh, spray it down good, and then I spray, blow it off good with uh, compressed air. I'm going to check it and make sure I don't feel any grit or dirt on it. If I do, I'm going to do it again. But I want the thing clean. So gives you some idea how to clean up that uh, reusable gasket. And this one looks good, so we're going to reuse it. Okay, we cleaned off the pan and the solvent tank, and uh, when I'm all done with that, I usually come in with the uh, ether or brake clean again, and uh, I'm spraying it all down. If I feel any grit anywhere on it, I try to get it off because I don't want that sand or grit from uh, uh, the road to get inside that transmission. Okay. So I spray the whole thing down. And I take a look at it and make sure there's nothing dirty on it. Make sure everything looks good where the gasket sits. And then uh, we're ready to go back together. And the other thing is, don't forget right where that dimple is at, which is where that magnet goes, don't forget to put that in. Okay, on the transmission, uh, the old transmission filter, you can see there, there's supposed to be this seal, this orange seal on this new one. It's up in the, in the body of the transmission yet. We have to get that out before we put that new transmission filter in. Okay, so it goes up into an aluminum bore, and you don't want to... You don't want to scratch that bore. If you can use something with a plastic uh, handle on it, that won't scratch that aluminum bore. So you can go up and... Uh, I just got a, a plastic wire brush here, plastic handle wire brush, and you can pop that out. Okay, so that takes care of that. And the next thing we're going to do is clean up that surface area where that gasket seals up at. I want that clean all the way around and uh, wipe off the tranny fluid as much as we can. There might be some dripping out of the body, it's inevitable. But uh, we want it as clean as we can get it before we go back up. So we're going to do that and get back with you. Okay, we're ready to put the new transmission filter up. And what we're going to do is uh, set it up there and give it a smack with your palm or your side of your hand. It'll pop right in there and it should stay hanging right there. Okay, next thing is putting the pan up. We'll get back with you. All right, we're ready to put the transmission pan up. We got the magnet back in. We got the gasket setting right on it, and then we're going to go right up in with it. Okay, these back two bolts, uh, we got this cross member kind of in the way, so we use a long extension on the socket, and you can sneak it right in there and get them started nicely right up in there. Once they're started good, we uh, snug them up with the impact. These bolts get torqued to 10 to 12 foot pounds. We're going at about a, if you're going inch pounds, we're going at about 140 to 145 inch pounds. Okay, and that's it for under here. Next thing is filled up and uh, we'll do our flush. So we'll get started with that. Okay, we're getting ready to add fluid to the transmission and we're in the engine compartment. So we're on the passenger side here and right back here is your transmission dipstick. And we're gonna pull out the dipstick get that out of the way and I've got a long narrow funnel and we'll put that down and inside the uh, tube there we go now the transmission uh, is 4R75E uh, holds a total fill of 13.9 quarts um, I'm gonna start off here with probably about uh, two gallon in that transmission to do the flush we're gonna add two gallon of that Amsoil synthetic 
and uh, then we're going to start it up and when I see a nice color change in the pan uh, that's when we'll stop the flush and uh, refill the transmission and uh, then we'll take it for a test drive and recheck it again. So we're going to go ahead and fill it and we'll be back with you. Okay we've added two gallon of the Anzol synthetic transmission fluid and uh, the transmission dipstick showing quite a ways over full and that's fine because we're going to be you know pushing a lot of fluid out of that torque converter and out of that transmission out here to the, the uh, drain pan. So we're going to go ahead and start it up and uh, I'm going to go till I see a nice color change or uh, we start to slow down on the fluid flow. Um, if you've got a really dirty transmission, uh, you may have to do this procedure a couple times until you get a nice cherry red color coming out of it. And this fluid wasn't looking just too terribly bad, it still got kind of a nice uh, fairly red color to it. Um, the owner just wanted to uh, keep uh, as much transmission life as he could. He just bought the car and uh, wants to switch out to Amsoil. So. Uh, go ahead and start it up. Okay. Get a nice deep cherry red there. I'm pretty happy with that. So it's about where we're going to stop. It's about a three gallon pan. We've got probably a good couple gallon that we. Uh, took out of there so all in all we should have a good majority of that fluid out that was originally in that transmission because initially we got probably a gallon a gallon and a half and we've got about two gallon here so again this thing holds about 13 13.9 quarts and I'm going to recheck the level and uh, see where it sits and if I need to add some I will and we'll go for a drive and recheck it again so that's about it for this transmission flush. We'll put this transmission cooler line back on and secure that uh, spring clamp, and uh, that'll be it. So, all right. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Donswell. I'd like to introduce you to Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants. We have the most complete line of synthetic lubricants on the market that offer you greatly reduced wear, extended drain intervals, longer equipment life. You can check that out at my website, donswell.com. I also have a website for looking up fluid capacities. It's fluidcapacity.com. You can go there and print off the capacity of your engine oil, cooling system, transmission, transfer case differentials. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Don Synthetic Lubes. Thank you and have a great day.